Okay, in this video, you are going to learn what is the histogram and how to draw it. Drawing a histogram is a common way to visualize the distribution of data. Histogram is the graphical representation. It is a graphical representation of the frequency distribution. By creating a histogram, we can get idea of the shape of this distribution, shape of the distribution. Then uh, in examples here, the class boundaries in x axis and frequencies is y axis. There are some rectangles. The height of the rectangle represent the frequency of the class and the width of the rectangle represent class width. Then we should get idea how to draw a histogram. When created a histogram in persistent we should calculate the class boundaries for each class. Secondly, on a uniform scale, we should mark the class boundaries in x axis. Third, on a consistent scale, we should mark the frequencies in y axis. Finally, we can create the rectangle with the class intervals as the base and frequencies as the height. This is the examples. The class intervals and class frequencies are here. In persistive, we should calculate the class boundaries. When we created the class boundary, calculating the class boundary, we should get the difference between lower class limit of the next class and upper class limit of the given class. That, that the difference should be equal. One, no, twenty minus ninety this one. Then we can easily calculate the lower class boundaries of each classes using this form. Lower class limit minus d divided by two. The difference divided by two is point five. Then we can calculate the lower class boundaries of this class, 15 minus 0 0.5, 14.5. Then here the 14.5, similarly 20 minus 0 0.5, 19.5, 24.5, 29 29.5, 34.5, 39.5 is similar. Also, the upper class boundaries we can calculate by using this equation. This is equation upper class limit plus difference divided by it. Then this part is 0.5. We can calculate the upper boundaries of each classes by adding 0 0.5. Then 19.5, the first class, 19.5. This is a 24.5, the 29.5, 34.5. 39.5 and 
44.5. The class boundaries. Then next step, we should uh, draw the histogram. Then second stage, we should uh, draw the x-axis and y-axis. It is uh, x-axis uh, renamed by class boundary it is frequency. Then we can mark Class boundaries twenty four point five, twenty nine point five, thirty four point five, thirty nine point five, finally forty four point five. Also we should mark the frequencies at the consistent scale. Then the highest frequencies to it. Then uh, we can add by adding two, four, six. 8, 10, 12. This is the highest frequencies to it. This so Finally, we can create the rectangles by class width uh, as a base and frequencies as a height. The first class, the frequency is 4. The rectangle is 4. The second rectangle should be the height, the 6. Third one is the 8. The fourth one is 29.5 to 34.5 base frequency 12. Then next, the frequency is 7, 34.5 and 39.5. This frequency is 7. Then Next frequencies is 3, 39.5 and 44.5. The frequency is 3. It is a midpoint of the 4 and 2. Yes. That's the histogram of this frequency distribution. Okay. I think uh, we have clear idea how to create a frequency distribution then if you like uh, this video please comment and subscribe my channel thank you for everyone